updating the peg checklist from Jazzit using the recommended quick method. In this video we'll take a look at how to quickly update your existing peg checklists with the latest version available on the website using the quick method. Using the quick method involves the following steps. Log on to the support website using your firm's username and password. Download the installation file for the checklist being updated. Run the installation file to replace the existing resource center and master file. And then open the master file and connect it to the resource center if not installed to the default location. Here we see the existing PEG checklists in the default location for a standalone workstation installation. The resource centers, the PEG review Caleb and the PEG audit Caleb, as well as the master files, the PEG review master and the PEG audit master, installed to the folder, program files x86, caseware, data. In your case, the files may be installed to a server drive, either a local server or a remotely hosted server. Using the quick method to update the PEG checklists, we will simply be replacing these files with the latest versions available on the Jazzit support website. On the support website, click the Downloads tab, enter your firm's username and password, and click Login. On the Downloads page, the checklists are listed towards the bottom of the page. So scrolling down, the checklist packages your firm is currently subscribed to will be displayed. In this video, we will be updating the PEG review checklists. So, for the quick method, we will click on the button labeled Full Product for the PEG NTR Review Checklists. Then, depending on the configuration of your workstation, you may be prompted to either run or save the file being downloaded. If you are not prompted at all, the file will be in your designated downloads folder and you'll have to double click it to run it. In this case, I'm simply saving it to my downloads folder. When the download completes, I can simply run the file by clicking on it here. On the welcome screen, click Next. Select I accept the agreement and click Next. If your checklists are not installed in this default location, click Browse, locate the folder currently containing your checklists and click Next. Then click Install. The progress bar will indicate the installation progress. And when complete, you have the opportunity to view the latest release notes. Should you not want to review these release notes, simply uncheck this checkbox before clicking Finish. This is an example of the release notes, indicating which checklists have been updated and any new checklists which may have been added. We have just reinstalled the PEG review checklists, so these two folders were replaced, the PEG review Caleb and the PEG review master. To confirm that the folders were replaced or recreated, we can review the date modified property of the folders. In this case I do not have that set to display, so to adjust, select view from the menu and view again, and then details. Here we see today's date and the time that these folders were created so we can confirm the original folders were in fact replaced. If these files were installed in the default location in the caseware data folder, there is nothing more you need to do. But if you installed these files to a different location, the PEG review master file has to be connected to the PEG review Caleb file. To do this, launch caseware and locate the PEG review master file either in the default location or click browse and locate the file where you just installed it. In this case it is in the default location. So I'm opening it from here. 
The path to the resource center is set in the program and checklist document control, this JZPC key document. If you are updating the PEG order checklists, the control document is the JZPC key A document. Opening the document, the resource center path is displayed here, labeled as RC location. If you need to change it, simply double click the cell to connect it to the PEG review Caleb wherever you installed it. Let's quickly recap what we just learned. We learned that the quick method for updating the checklists involves the following steps. Log on to the support website using your firm's username and password. Download the installation file for the checklist being updated. Run the installation file to replace the existing resource center and master file and then open the master file and connect it to the resource center if not installed to the default location. Case where should be easy. To find out how, visit us at jazzit.com.